Hello, this is Lolly. Welcome back. Today we are going to work more on our December by Fives. If you're new to this series, I'm going to give you more information at the end of this video uh, to get you uh, started where uh, we left off last time. But let's dig into that for those who've been following along so far. This kit is still in my shop if you are interested in the kit. I have free downloads of these journal cards and the tabs. Now I have gone ahead and cut out um, some of the tabs as templates for me. I want to trace mine and then I will cut them out and put them on these. And I want to show on the ephemera piece. I'm, I am going to hold this one because my friend Bobby pointed out that this is the shape of the, oh, the motel keys and he is so right. So I'm going to have to make a motel key out of that one. If you don't have a box, then you can wait till the end of the series and we will make a box together. So what we're going to be doing is making these cute little file folders that are going to hold our December memories. Now, I, I'm i still not decided. I know I'm doing five for the five times five, five days uh, in each set. And then they will go in the box like this. It, there will be a little extra room in the back that you can put Christmas cards. We'll talk about what sort of things you could put in your memory keeping box. So last time we just cut up the four by six cards from the paper pack, which is so adorable. It is this, uh, Echo Park Happy Holidays. Again, I have the whole kit ready for you. You don't have to go out and worry about getting that. So what we're doing, we have the four by six cards that we cut for each one of those, whether you're doing five or six or more, you need to cut out a piece of cardstock, whether it's white or red or whatever color you want. Here's an example here. I cut a red one out to this and what we need is six by five. So once we get that, we're going to score this, putting the five inch side up here and we're gonna score it at four and then we're gonna score it at four and five eighths. So find the four and a half and just go one dash beyond that. That gives us a nice big gusset so that this ends up having a nice big storage space right there. We're going to flip this away from that recessed uh, fold. So valleys become mountains and that, get that a nice good crease. Then we're going to use our glue. We got to figure out which way is up and this looks like this way is up. So that's going to get glued right there. I'm using the precision glue press and I have a little glue right there. Uh, I'll give you a link down below to my review of this glue press. Now match that up. Another thing you could do is put this down to make sure you've got your lines real so it's nice and squared. And we are going to really give that a good burnish. The other thing I like to do, um, I'm not rounding the bottom corners because it's like a file folder, but the top corners I am doing in the small. So I'm just rounding the top corners of the back and the front like that. So again, there's those. And so let's go over that again. You're gonna take a six by five inch cardstock, turn it with the five inches is up here. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Score it at four and four and five eighths, which is the mark right between four and a half and four and three quarters. We're going to bend that away from the recessed lines. Then we're going to make sure that this is the design is vertical. Let's give the top corners the small rounding. Okay, so now we have three. I'm gonna continue making these, but we're gonna chat while I'm doing this. So what is going to go into your memory pockets? Well, one would be your journal card. So for me, I've got, I could put December one, two, three, four and five. This is just kind of a bonus spot there. And I could put a little journal there each day and it could uh, say what happened that day. It could have a thought for the day. It could have, oh man, 
this is really tough cardstock. It could have a quote, like if you see really interesting, inspiring quotes, do that. You don't have to have what you, you would consider the interesting life. You can just put some inspirational quote there. So it doesn't have to be, you know, that difficult. You could put photos in your um, file folder. You could put Christmas cards in there. Anything else that came in the mail that you want to save. One of the things, uh, you, ticket stubs, if you do go somewhere, uh, notes that you get, really cute stamps that, you know, you get on packages in the mail, you know, they will have Christmas stamps. Cut those postage stamps off, put it in your little folder here. They are so cute. Um, another thing I do is I like to have different teas every evening. I like to sit in front of my Christmas tree with the Christmas lights and a mug of hot tea. And I like to journal and do my December daily notes then. So I save the tea bag or the tea, you know, the outer wrap, not the bag itself. <laughs> And I save that and I put that in here as well. You could put news clippings in there for anything that happens in the news that you want to remember. Print those off from the computer. You could put your favorite recipes in there, like maybe if you're gonna make a different recipe, Christmas cookie recipe every week, you could put that recipe in there as a reminder of what you baked and then you can also put a photo of what you made in the pocket as well so there really are a lot of different things you can do in there you could take screenshots of christmas memes you know there's just so much you can do so right now i have five in here if i smush them all together how much room that takes so i have enough room for one more easily in there and I might do that, I might not. Like I said, with this extra space in the back, I could just put some Christmas cards in there. So there is plenty of room here. So what I'm going to do next is take these and I'm going to trace them out and make tabs. When I made these, I had these extra pieces here and I could turn them over and use the other sides like this. And I could use this for one of the tabs on one of these so for instance let's say i want a green tab for here so i would take this but what i'm going to do is trace it on the other side so i don't have pencil marks facing me and there we go i got my little llama pencil here so i'm going to turn this over and trace it on this side so make sure you check out all the downloads for this there's two free downloads for this um, and I do downloads often, uh, free downloads for projects, especially at Christmas time. So if you are um, someone who keeps track of all your downloads, I do have in my Lollipalooza Peeps group, I have a uh, cover you can get for your notebook. And my itty bitty scissors have disappeared. So, So see that? Now we have a tab which can go inside or outside, however you want to do that. Now the first one, to me, it's gonna be pretty easy to do a placement. I think I'm gonna put mine on the front. And I'm gonna go just in from the curved or um, just in from the corner there where I have the rounded corner. Now as far as placement of the next one, here's what I like to do. I like to take whatever one's gonna be in the middle and find the middle and place that, and that helps me to know where to put the next one. So here's my first tabbed folder. And I don't think that I want these two to be next to each other because there's patterns are too similar. So I think after this one, let's go for this. This will be the second, third, fourth, and fifth. So what I want to do is the middle one next, because this one will be, for me, easier to figure out. Okay, and I think this is gonna be a good one for that. So let's get that traced. So recipes are a good form of memory keeping. And if you have Christmas recipes that you really love or that were your grandmother's, go ahead and get those out and start printing those in four by six cards.
this one is going to go right in the middle. So let's use this to find out where the middle is right here. That's our middle tab. Now you can see when I line these up, now I can really figure out where my next tab, it's gonna go right between these two. So when I place it on this one, let's see, it'd be time for this one. Let's use this. And which tab do I want for this? How about a vertical stripe? So even if you're not doing this for December, you can do this for any month of the year. Um, any season. It could be, you know, you want to do this for Valentine's Day or you, maybe you love Halloween. I know a lot of people who love the fall season. This would be really cute for that. So now I'm just laying this up there and basically eyeballing to see. I want this to go kind of in between those two. The first one, the second one, the third one. And let's get these out. And I think we said that we were gonna go this one next. So this will be the last one. Let's trace these two. Let's see what goes here. Let's do the plaid, I like that. Let's do the plaid for this one. And that'll be my circle. So I'm gonna trace the plaid on the back. So that's gonna go on this one. And then we need, uh, where's the other one? This one is going to go here the snowflakes. Let's use the snowflakes on this one. So if you are just getting started with this, this is your first video watching with this series. Every year I do a December memory keeping system. This is the first year of doing it in a file box. So before it's always been mostly journals. One year it was a memory deck, so it's always different. And it's a, a really fun way of keeping track of our memories leading up to Christmas or to the end of the year, if you prefer. Okay, so this is going to be the last, I don't know how I said it. This is gonna be the last one, so let's do that. That one, and now we need this to kind of line up this one here. I'm gonna put this kind of like that, I think. There we go. We've got all of our tabs done. I'm trying to simplify this year because usually I do a really in-depth video series with sometimes like 15, 16 videos and it's quite lengthy. So we're condensing this year and we're going to make it so that um, this will be easier for you to do and you won't feel so intimidated. Uh, I have all the supplies listed below. I have the downloads, the free downloads for you, trying to make this as easy as possible. And also, I always give alternatives. So if I'm doing something, I'll say, or you could do it this way. So the other thing uh, is, as I mentioned, uh, you don't have to have this box. Toward the end of the series, or at the end of the series, I'm gonna show you how to make your own box out of like a cereal box, cracker box, or something in your recycle bin. So please hang on to your boxes now in anticipation of that. So thank you for watching. This is uh, going to be so cute when it is all done. We're gonna start decorating these next time.